hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i am back with another video and today's video is kind of we could combine this but it's literally just one so today's challenge well today's video is a challenge and it's the chipmunk challenge by Limitless by v la noor if you guys do not have her please go check her out i will link her channel in my description box so today we have a three meats pizza which is i made this homemade look at that crust so we have ground beef a sweet italian sausage pepperoni and cheddar and monterey jack cheese and of course i made some fried chicken chunks i should have given me i'm going to go give me some sauce so y'all stay tuned i'll be right back Okay, guys, I'm back. I just made me up some sriracha and ranch sauce. So let's get us a thumbnail. I don't really like that one, but like. Yeah, we're going to go with that one. So we're going to say, oh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. That way we know if I want to post. And yeah. I got some a little bit of sweet tea today. I'll be drinking one after this. Um, let's go ahead and say grace. Dear God, let me thank you for this food. Make sure this be the nourishment of my body. And in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. So this is my sriracha sauce, which is basically just some ranch and hot and sriracha hot sauce put together. What should we try first? Pizza or chicken? Let's try the pizza because I always use that for my chicken. And I'll give y'all the first bite. We don't want no messes. Here you go. Mmm. <gasps> yum, 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 yum. Okay. Mm. Nice amount of kick with that sriracha. Mm hmm. This almost put me in the mind of um, Sitting Mo's Pizzorio Challenge. I don't know. Every time I get pizza or make pizza, that's all I think about is Sitting Mo's Challenges. They are legit fun to do. And if only I had some Oreos, I could re re recreate the challenge. Okay. I got sriracha. This is so good. Every time y'all in the mood for pizza, just get y'all y'all ingredients and make it from scratch. Mm, so good. Mm. I put too much sriracha as always. We think I'm. It's a. Well, I have to sit in for a little bit because I think it's a lot. Whew, so can you find out hot sauce making me have makeup too? Now I'm gonna bite. Oh, excuse me. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. Because normally when I make pizza, I use um, Italian sauce. You know? Sorry. With bell peppers. Oh, I should have got me some sweet peppers. Excuse me, I have some in my, in my fridge right now. I think I'm about to go add some to this too. Because I forgot a lot now. Even though I be eating them, it's still a lot. Excuse me. Let me take my glasses off. Whew. But wait, y'all, y'all see this video? It'll come out tomorrow, which is Saturday. Nothing like some fresh fried pizza. We're gonna move this right here so it's easy access. Mmm, now this is what I'm talking about. Look at that crust. Cooked to perfection. And what I've learned when making this is pre cook your dough first and then for like 15 minutes and then add the toppings and then cook and it'll come up pretty like this. Mm hmm. Like other time when I was making it before, before doing that. <coughs> I 
Oh, I wonder why my crust wasn't so crispy. Yeah, I don't know why. And it stayed right on the back of the pan, too. I wasn't paying attention. So when you cook, this is where you can do everything without instruction. But, no. Mm -hmm. I should have made this the other way. Right. Put the cheese down first. And then layer it with the meat instead of the other way around. Now I'm going to bite. It's about to drip. We got drip for sale. We got drip for sale. Mm, so good. Mm -hmm. A nice crunch. This sauce be A1 though. Even though it's gonna be hiccups, it is what it is. I'll survive for the end of the day. As always, I don't get no napkins. <coughs> this is my first meal for today. Mm. Maybe because I was craving it. I wasn't really craving it, but I had got the ingredients this morning. So, all you had to do was make up the meat. And I took the casing off of the sausage and combined it with the ground beef and cooked them together. It was the bomb.com. So, all I had to do, once I got the kids from school, was assemble and fry the chicken. So, it was literally done in like 30 minutes. So, I did all the hard work early. So, that way, in the afternoon, there wasn't much to do. Oh, yeah. I'm about to tell you about the challenge. So, real nice challenge is a chipmunk challenge. Meaning, all you have to do is speed up. I mean, edit your video, speed it up to like, I believe it's 0.5 or 1.5 to so talk like a chipmunk. That's it. Easy peasy. Really squeezy. From, this is going to be fun. Oh, um, that crunch is so good. This is like a good homemade slice of pizza. Thin crust too. You know, something like thin crust. It's still good though. Mm hmm. Something light, not too filling, and easy. Next time I think I'm gonna do a veggie pizza. Like peppers, onions, black olives, mushrooms. That good for me? Do like a pressure in the pan. And then maybe add in some like ground turkey or whatever. Or chicken. Do that depending on how I feel. Mmm. But a veggie like does sound good. Mmm. I'm gonna have to think about that. Oh yeah, because this is like a a pouch coming up, I should do it the other way. Mmm. That is so good though. Mmm. Your girl is grinding and grinding. Look at this. Everything came right off. I should do it the other way. But it's good. It's like a sandwich. A pizza sandwich. A sandwich pizza. Mmm. Mmm. I amaze myself sometimes. Mmm. -hmm. You can definitely taste the Italian sausage. And you can definitely taste the ground beef. I seasoned the ground beef with some sasson, some parsley, some accent salt, and pepper. So good. I really didn't have to season the sausage because it's a sausage. And it's really, you know, Italian sauce. Because I love it to be salty. For some reason, I hate salty food. All done. This is real good. Look how you look pizza. Make it yourself. Let me give y'all a last bite. Alright, I had enough? Okay. Nothing about tender. So then, guys, I'm done. And this video about wrapped up as well. So guys, if y'all enjoyed this little video challenge mukbang, yeah, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a big thumbs down. The choice is yours. Comment down below. Any more videos y'all would like for me to do? Anything y'all would like to see? Yeah, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell. That way you know if I win, I post. And until next time, we are out of here. Peace.